Asalaamu Alaikum. Uh, my name is Goha. I'm an accountant. Uh, just very quickly, it's a pleasure to hear Dr. Zakir Naik. Since the first time I heard him, it was one of my ambitions to come and see you, mashallah. You gave a lovely talk. My question is, there's a famous hadith saying by the Prophet, peace be upon him, that we should seek knowledge unto China. Now, I've talked to a lot of brothers about this, and my perspective on it, even though I haven't researched it, is that this knowledge does not talk about religious knowledge, because the religious knowledge at the time was in Saudi Arabia, where the Prophet, peace be upon him, was. And people all over the world were coming to see him at that time for religious knowledge. But what is the question, brother? What is the so question? So my question is, this hadith, does it relate to religious knowledge or knowledge of the dunya, science, maths, etc.? But that was the question that the Prophet said that seek knowledge even if you have to go to China. It's because religious knowledge was in Saudi Arabia, it was worldly knowledge. So does it mean you can go to China for worldly knowledge? Point number one, brother. According to Sheikh Nafsan al-Bani, this hadith is a maudu hadith. It's a fake hadith. It's not a correct hadith. Because the center of education, even at that time, that time was in China. This hadith is a fake hadith, but that doesn't mean your question is not valid. You have to use other hadith to prove your question. The first guidance given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the whole of humanity was not to pray, was not to give zakat, it was ikra. In Surah Al Alaq, Chapter 96, verse number one, Ikra. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, it's mentioned by Haki, it is obligated on every Muslim, man or woman, to acquire knowledge. So acquiring knowledge is further than Islam. It's compulsory. It includes, the more obligatory is the deen knowledge, but that does not mean you cannot go and travel even for worldly knowledge. You can, as long as you fulfill the criteria, even for worldly knowledge, you can, as long as it benefits you, it gets you closer to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Hope that answers the question.